All right, today I'm going to be showing you what comes included in the Sapphire Steel Starter Deck. As you can see on the front, we have Aurora and Simba on the front, and you are guaranteed two foils in this ready-to-play deck. You're also going to get a booster pack of 12 cards. On the side of the box, you do have the deck list, so if you mix up the cards and you want to put this deck back together, the deck list is included on the cards, so if you don't want to look online, that's an easy reference point. This is what's printed on the back. So it tells you that you have a 60 card deck that includes two foil cards, 11 damage counters, a paper play mat, paper tracker token, and the game rules. So we're gonna take a look at what all that includes. And I'll tell you a little bit about this game if you're thinking about getting into it. The game just came out today and it's gonna be available in most retail stores come September 1st. So right now you can only go to a card shop that specializes in these types of games, but September 1st, you'll be able to find it just about everywhere. So this is what it looks like when you rip open the top. Inside, everything pulls out in one go. We do have the sealed 60 card deck here. We're going to take a look at those cards in just a second. We do have an included booster pack. We have the rules, and then we have, what is this? Oh, the play mat. So here on the play mat, you can see you have a spot for cards in play, the deck, inkwell, and discard. And you can flip it over on either side, depending on how you want to play. And then we do have the included punch out. So this is how you're gonna keep track of damage on characters. You punch those out and put them on the card. And then here we have, this is a cool little thing. It's gonna keep track of your life. So if you put it here, you can see you have five lore. And I called it life, but that it's actually called lore. And you wanna to get to 20 lore to win the game. And as you send your characters out on quests, your lore is gonna go up and up and up until you hit 20 or more to win the game. Here is the included instruction booklet. And you can see here, it tells you the parts of the card, tells you the different types of cards you can play. So you have characters, items, and actions. These are gonna be the most common cards you're gonna use. You also have song cards. And then what's interesting with this mechanic is that if you see this, it looks like a camera shutter, but it's supposed to be an inkwell. If the number here is surrounded by that inkwell, you see how this one isn't, you can use it as a way to you, uh, cast higher costing spells. So on this play mat here, you can play one card per turn face down as ink. That card is out of play. You're not going to be able to use it other aside from ink. But what's nice is that when you're evaluating your hand, you have utility out of the card because it can either be used as inkwell or you can use it for cards in play. So in some card games, your opening hand may not have anything of, of a way to play the game. And this does seem like an easy way to make sure that you have something to do every turn. And the better cards are gonna have numbers I've seen as high as eight. I think I even see, saw a nine on here. And if you're only playing one per turn, it's going to take you eight or nine turns to get those really big cards out there. Uh, if we look here, there are the six different types of colors. So we have Sapphire, Steel, Emerald, Ruby, Amber, and Amethyst. Now, when you build a deck, you can only have two colors. So the deck that's included here has Sapphire and Steel. So if you see cards from other colors that you want to add onto this deck, you will not be able to do it unless you remove all of the sapphire or all of the steel out of the deck. So when you open up other booster packs to improve your deck, make sure you keep track of what you're trying to build on. If you have this starter deck, sapphire and steel are gonna be the easiest ones to build off of on this deck here. This is like a paper covering. Notably, there is no deck box included with this starter deck. So you will need something to protect this deck. The nice thing is, is these cards are pretty much a standardized size. So if you have Pokemon sleeves or Magic the Gathering sleeves, they are going to fit on these cards and the same thing with the deck boxes. So you won't have to look very hard to find what you need. And so we have some Auroras here. 
This is the shiny Aurora that comes included. You can see the rarity here. This is a super rare. And these are commons. The circle means common. Here we have a Simba. This red, reddish looking triangle is rare. This storybook looking shape is uncommon. We have some Auroras here. Flounder, common. Grandma Tala, uncommon. Jasmine, she's at common. What that means is it's going to be pretty easy to find these cards out of packs. The rares are going to be a little bit harder because you only get two per pack. So we have a Maleficent, we have Mickey Mouse, Mufasa, Scar, and Gold. You're not seeing a Gold in here, but Gold is your legendary cards. And I opened up a whole box. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see my box opening, I only opened four legendaries and one shiny legendary in the whole box. So here we have a hard-headed beast. That's the uncommon variant. You are only allowed four copies of a single card in your deck, but make sure you look at the whole name, Captain Hook, Forceful Duelist. You can have four of those, and if there's another Captain Hook, you can have multiple copies of Captain Hook, as long as it doesn't have the complete name that's under it as well. And so this is the deck here. We have Maui, Simba, Grab Your Sword, a nice collection of rares, commons and uncommons. Notably missing are going to be your uh, super rares, which is that one, and your uh, legendary, which is gold. So that's pretty much the whole deck that's included. Now we're going to take a look at the included booster pack. This does include 12 cards, two of which will be rare or higher, and one foil in every pack. So there's going to be a foil in here, but it's probably going to be a common or uncommon, but what would be great is to hit a legendary. That's going to be a gold stamp on the bottom. Let's take a look here. We have a boo at common. Mo at Common, Tinkerbell at Common, Peter Pan, Mickey Mouse, Sybaris, Jumba Jukaba. That's uncommon. One Jump Ahead, uncommon. LeFou, uncommon. So you see here how that's a goldish or amber color. This will not be able, you will not be able to put LeFou in this deck. Only Steel, which this is Steel, grab your sword. This is a rare. So this could be added to this deck because it's steel, but we also have sapphire. So let's see if we have a sapphire here. Nope, so this part of your world will not be able to be included into this deck unless you remove all of sapphire or all of steel to add that card into your deck. And then we have a shiny Abu. Well, that concludes our video today. As you can see here, I got a 60 card deck, play mat, some tokens, and I can play this deck with somebody right out of the box. It's important to know that if you do plan on playing with someone else, they're either gonna need to build their own deck or buy their 60 card deck, uh, just like I have here today. And that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Drop me a comment if you're gonna pick this up and if you plan on playing.